Absolutely covered in hogs. Covered. <laughs> this is an awesome night. They're everywhere. I might be I might be able to get a shot at this one right here. Try again. I'll go for round three.
Sorry for the bad camera work. I'm trying to film myself. My battery said it's, it's dead low. It says it's at 0% for the past five minutes. I'm lucky to get this on film. Three hogs, three hogs. First hog I shot was a, a really big boar. Hopefully I'm gonna have enough battery to track it. This is unbelievable, what an awesome night. Summer night, it's really hot, it was 94 today, but down in the swamp, it's about 10 degrees cooler, you got a good breeze. Just an awesome, awesome night. I'm not hog hunting, I'm doing hog control. There's a difference, we, we have to shoot every hog in this area because this is a neighborhood and uh, they're actually paying us to do so. So this is our job, pretty cool job. Yeah. While I was hunting, my brother Tyler was hunting another spot not too far away. He texted me and said that he shot a hog and needed help tracking it. So we started tracking this hog and it led us into the thickest, nastiest stuff you could possibly imagine. Of course, all of us left our phones in the truck and it wasn't long until we were completely turned around. That isn't what? This, this hog is going through stuff that we can't fit in. Well, what do we do? We don't. Stand up. Can't even stand up. You still on blood? Yeah. It's not good what? That's not good for them. We are lost. You're right, you're right. We've been walking through the woods for about two hours. And we're completely lost. And it is so thick in here. Now we're doing circles. We're definitely doing circles. We need to cut back left. Yeah, there are no flashlights. I've got one, and you got your phone lights. My phone only has like 30. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's uh, almost one o'clock in the morning, and uh, we just got lost. We went to recover Tyler's hog. Tyler shot a hog tonight, and um, we went to go recover his. And we were blood trailing and we got way in some thick palmettos, probably 150 yards in there, and we got completely, absolutely turned around. Mm -hmm. We've been in there for probably close to four hours. We thought we were gonna have to spend the night, actually Tyler said, if we spend the night, where are we gonna sleep at? Just how are we gonna do this? And it was bad. So uh, we finally made it out, made it out back to the truck, and now we're going in here to recover my hogs. I shot three hogs tonight. So we're absolutely freaking worn out, and now we got a good drag. About 500 pounds worth of hogs. One of these boys is a monster. <laughs> that's all the energy I had left. Yeah, that's a perfect way to waste it. <laughs> yeah, well, well thought out. All right, let's go in here and do this. Learn from oh, our yeah. And all of our flashlights, except for this one, are completely <laughs> burned out. So we got one light going in here in Jackson Mobs. Uh... We've been lost for four hours, found our way out, and now we're going back in the woods. Blood. Holy crap, dude. Here he is. What? Oh my gosh. He didn't even make it across. Good lord. Holy freaking crap. Dude, Brian, that's a, three, <laughs> that's a 300 pounder. I knew he was big, but I didn't think he was this big. I, I wish the freaking up. camera could tell. The size? Yeah. Cutters. How big this freaking hog is. Wow, he's got really good cutters, dude. Look at that, Tyler. Absolutely worn out. It is about 105 degrees a day. Probably hotter than that with heat index. It's July Something I don't even know what it is mid-July. We got lost last night looking for Tyler's hog. Tyler stuck a good hog um, good eater hog and uh, We had to track it about 150 yards I think the broadhead didn't open and we ended up getting turned around in the thick palmetto bushes got lost And we were lost for about four hours. I mean dead lost had no idea where we were going We ended up figuring out we were just walking circles really disorientating in those uh, palmetto bushes. So then we had to recover my three hogs. I ended up shooting three hogs. This boar, we just weighed him, he's 220 pounds. It's a really, really good boar. Probably the best, he's definitely the best boar hog that I've ever shot with a bow, so pretty proud of that. It was a great night last night. A lot of work put in, but uh, it was all worth it. We did a really good job for this community, keeping the hogs out of there. They're tearing up yards and just doing thousands of dollars worth of damage, so 
just doing our part uh, to try to protect our, uh, our native species. These hogs are detrimental to our native wildlife. Ground nesting birds. I've even have pictures of uh, hogs carrying little deer fawns, you know, running off with deer fawns in their mouth. So they're not good to have around. They're not supposed to be here. And, and um, we're going to continue to do our part to take as many out as we possibly can.